Hi, this is Mark Delise, and what's really cool about this new version of the Covert Player is that not only is it the latest technology for video, online video, but I want to show you some of the snazzy features that it has when you take your mouse and you hover, put your mouse over the video, and then hit the question mark key. See the question mark? So put your mouse over the video, like right here, and when you hit the question mark, you'll see all the shortcut uh, keys uh, shortcut keys that you can use to toggle your way through the video. Everything from play and pause by hitting the space bar or escape to stop, F for full screen. And keep in mind it has a native full screen mode. And see this right here? You can select that on or off for full screen. Watch this. Full screen. See that? Isn't that cool? Hit, hit the shift. For your volume, all you do is hit the arrow keys now what's really cool is this has a slow motion and a fast motion. You simply uh, on your keyboard put shift and the one of the side arrow keys. It also has a seek uh, for cue points by just hitting your arrow keys and hit the period to seek to the previous point. And also if you hit the numbers one through six, you can seek to the 10, 20 or 60% position and so forth. All right, very, very cool for cue points. And so let me show you how this works. If I put my mouse over here and I hit the uh, question mark, you see how that? That will give you all the keyboard shortcuts that you can do stuff with. Uh, what's really exciting, for example, the slow motion or fast motion, the shift plus the arrow keys. So for example, if I hit the uh, play button and if I hit the uh, shift plus the, see how it goes faster? real fast. Let me slow it down. And look at this. Now it's in slow motion. <laughs> it's really slow now. See that? That's now in slow motion. Let me speed it up again. And now we're back to normal speed. Isn't that cool? So it's very, very cool. Very powerful. You'll see how clean and sleek the design is. And uh, you'll see how that, that control bar, you can have three different control bars. You can change the color of this uh, of this effect here that you can change the color of uh, what do you call this here oh I forgot the na name of the color let's just do it I'll show you live how you do it here's the controllers of the element of the control bar you come down here and for example you can put in a, a web WM uh, URL for mobile mp4 or OGL so if you put for example these two type of video files it'll pretty much cover uh, 99. 5% of all browsers out there, mobile included. Now here's the control bar. For example, I have the minimalistic selected. And here, for example, um, is your elements for your control bar. So right now I have no control bar background color. So I'm gonna unselect that, okay? And you'll see here that I have the play button on. So if I come here, you can see the play button is on right there. I can have that turned off or hidden. Um, you'll see here that obviously I'm going to put the time on the top left. So if I select that on this time, see the time, 23 seconds and how long the video is, this is going to be moved to the top left. Very cool. And let's, let's see what else can I do here. Um, I can put, for example, I can put show embed. I can show the, put the full screen to off, unselect that. And here, for example, I can change the, uh, the progress bar. That's what I wanted to get. This is the progress bar uh, right here. Okay, that's the progress bar. Uh, this section in here from, from the end of the progress bar to the very end uh, where the video ends is called the buffer area. So watch some of the colors that you can change here. For example, the progress bar. I'm gonna change it to, for example, green. Okay, uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be green. Just put it just like that. And for example, the control bar, I'm gonna to change to, for example, blue. <laughs> okay, let's put it to blue. And the buffer color, uh, say for example, this will be, the buffer color will now be, I don't know, yellow. Let's just make something real funky. This is gonna be a funky control bar, but I just wanted to see what you do here. You can put a splash URL right there. You can put autoplay or loop right here as well. Um, now let's just, let me just save this. I'm going to save that 
and now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to refresh this page and you'll see here that the control bar is going to change the colors and so forth. So let me just refresh this page. You see that? The funky colors here. Uh, the time now is on the, on the left. And so if I hit the play button, you see how the progress bar is green? See that? Now that's funky colors. I'm just going to turn that off. Uh, that looks pretty, pretty, pretty wild. Uh, so the buffer color, I'm going to turn back to white, just like this. And the progress bar, oh, I can, green is pretty good. Um, you know, progress bar is, is green. Uh, control bar, I'm going to turn back to, oh, I can put a different color, but I'm going to turn it back to uh, black for the control bar. Um, it also has a transparent control bar. So if you have a, a video and you just want to see the, have the video playing behind the control bar, you can do that too. Um, so I'm just going to turn, turn this back. It's going to be a green progress bar. That's like this. And just let me just refresh this here. There you go. And it's back. There, that, that, that looks great. And it's got a black uh, background. So if I click on, for example, uh, no control bar background color and I hit save. And let me refresh. There you go. So now you can see right through it. You can see the video playing behind it. And of course, if I want no control bar at all, I can just hit hide control bar. You see that? Let me click on save. And just let me just refresh here. And there's gonna be no control bar. And let's see how that is. I can hide the time as well, obviously. So that's very, very cool. It's so easy to use. And if I wanna activate one of the um, opt-ins, because I've set up the opt-in already. I can just, for example, I can put it at the video start or at the end or when paused or at a specific time right here. So for example, I can click on when the video is paused. Um, I can just come down here and click on save changes. Now just let me just refresh. So let me just click on the play. Now I'm gonna watch the video, and so for example, I pause it. Aha, there it is, you see that? I've enabled the skip button on and off, so for example, if I want that skip button to be off, I just come back here and I hit the skip button to be no, and save changes. Let me just refresh. And so I click on this here, and if I click on pause, aha, uh -huh, there's no skip. So I cannot get out of this at all unless I put in an email address. So again, this is a, some of the cool features that you can do. Again, all the shortcuts that you can do for the keyboard for fast and uh, fast forward or slow motion and so forth. It's really, really cool. You just put your mouse over the video and hit the question mark uh, to get this help screen. It's very, very cool. So again, this is Mark Delise on some of the features of the Covert Player, and this is for self-hosted videos. It also has Vimeo and YouTube features as well. All the features are in this, are in the nav bar here. Just go over and look at all the opt-in features at the start, pause, timer, and end for both self-hosted and YouTube. Put on third-party sites with generate code. All the playlists, everything is right here. It's just a lot of stuff. So again, this is Mark Delise signing off with the Covert Player.